Hi, it's Kerry here, showing you my new animals at the watering hole. We'll have a closer look at these in a minute. First up we have a male baboon. Baboons are some of the world's largest monkeys. There are five different species. Troop members spend endless hours carefully grooming one another to remove insects and dead skin. Male baboons are twice as large as females. They live in groups called troops. The males use shows of physical power to dominate rivals by fighting each other. The fur of the baboon is a dark olive or yellow in colour. After a baby baboon is born, its mother will carry her baby close to her stomach when she is on the move. After several weeks, the baby is able to ride on the mother's back. Most of their time is spent on the ground. They climb trees to sleep, eat or look out for predators. The main predators are lions, hyenas, leopards, wild dogs and cheetahs. Baboons have a varied diet and will eat what is available. Things like fruit, seeds, berries, roots, tree bark, sap and various insects, fish, birds and small mammals. The honey badger. This is a mammal that belongs to the weasel family. The females give birth to one or two babies. The young animals stay with their mother until they reach the age of 16 months. The honey badger has a 12 inch or 30 centimetre bushy tail. Notice the top of the body is covered with a wide whitish grey stripe. The rest of the fur is black or dark brown in colour. They have a muscular body and strong legs with five toes on its feet. It uses its long sharp claws for attack, defence and for digging. The honey badger has a very thick loose skin which cannot be pierced. When attacked the badger is able to rotate in its skin towards its predator's face and claw their eyes. Chimpanzees use natural tools like sticks or stones to obtain their food using their hands. They live together in large groups headed by an alpha male. Chimps like to groom each other by pulling bugs and leaves and dirt out of each other's fur. They mainly have a vegetarian diet but occasionally eat meat as well. Chimpanzees mostly run on all fours. Short distances can be covered half standing on their legs. That is so cute. striped hyena has a back that slopes down towards the tail. It gets its name from the black stripes on the sides of the pale grey or beige shaggy coat. A crest of long hair can bristle or stand up to make the hyena look larger and more intimidating in a fight. It has strong jaw bones for chewing up bones. Ah you can see the spotted hyena there as well. The black and white tail is long and bushy and the feet have short blunt claws. They are scavengers and are also skilled hunters. The Diana monkey is a primate that belongs to the group of old world monkeys. It is found in West Africa. It lives in tropical rainforests. The Diana monkey has a slender body covered in short dark grey or black fur long legs and a long tail shaped like a question mark. Notice it has a crescent shaped patch of white fur on the forehead and white fur on the beard, cheeks, throat and under the arms and on the thighs. 
It spends most of its life in the trees, rarely descending to the ground. It is an omnivore with a diet based on fruit and insects. They live in groups called troops. They sleep high in the treetops to keep safe. Ah, oh, this is the African wild ass. It's the smallest member of the horse family. It lives in the rocky dry desert areas of Africa. It is covered with grey fur on the back and whitish fur under the body. The legs of the Somali wild ass are covered with black bands with a dark stripe that stretches from head to tail. It has a big head with a narrow muzzle and long ears. The mane on the neck is bristly and stands on end. As well as having good hearing, the ears help it keep cool. This is the black wildebeest. It is a dark brown to black coloured antelope with an erect mane. This species is also called the white tail gnu. Both male and female have heavy forward curving horns. The head of the black wildebeest is large and boxy and the face, throat and chest are covered in bristly tufts of long black hair. The front end of the black wildebeest body is powerfully built with very high shoulders. Calves are born with shaggy fawn coloured fur. This is the Nile Crocodile. It eats mainly fish, but it will attack almost anything it comes across, including zebras, small hippos, porcupines, and people. This is the Gorilla with a baby. Gorilla infants are helpless at birth. They learn to crawl at about two months and are walking by the time they are nine months. Mother gorillas nurse their babies for about three years. Like all great apes, gorillas have arms that are longer than their legs and tend to walk on all four limbs at certain times using their knuckles. Gorillas are the world's largest primate. Adult male gorillas are known as silverbacks due to the patch of silver coloured hair on their backs. Male gorillas when challenged will beat their chest and charge at the perceived threat. Gorillas are herbivores and eat plant matter and fruits, living in groups mainly on the ground. At nightfall they sleep in a nest of leaves. The gnu is also a wildebeest. It has a large head, shaggy mane, pointed beard and sharp curved horns. Predators are lions, cheetahs, wild dogs and hyenas. The gnu is a member of the antelope family. They live in the grassy plains and open woodlands, particularly in the Serengeti, in Tanzania and Kenya. They travel in large heads and are constantly grazing. Their spectacular northward migration in search of greener pastures is dictated by the weather patterns but usually takes place in May or June. It is considered one of the greatest wildlife spectacles on earth involving up to one and a half million wildebeests. The Hedgehog Family Hedgehogs are nocturnal animals that sleep during the day in a nest or under the bushes and feed at night. The spines of a hedgehog are stiff, hollow hairs. They roll into a ball if threatened, making it hard for an attacker to get past the spiky defences. Gerbils are small mammals. They go between 6 and 12 inches long. The fur can be white, black, creamy or spotted. They have long hind legs adapted for jumping or to thump the ground when they are stressed, excited, frightened or in danger. 
they need to eat hard things to grind their teeth down because they grow their entire life. The fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world and has large ears which are 6 inches or 15 centimeters long. They live in the sandy Sahara and North Africa. They are nocturnal so they can keep out of the hot desert sun. Their distinctive bat-like ears radiate body heat and help keep them cool. They also have long thick hair to keep them warm during the cold nights and protect them from the hot daytime sun. The feet are protected from the extremely hot sand by a lot of hair. They use their feet as shovels for digging underground dens. Warthogs are members of the same family as domestic pigs. Their large flat heads are covered with warts, which are actually protective bumps. Warthogs also sport four sharp tusks. They are mostly bored, but they do have some sparse hair with a thicker mane on their backs. They graze on grasses and plants and use their snouts to dig or root for roots or bulbs. They have a fast running speed of up to 30 miles or 48 kilometers per hour. Warthogs are adaptable and are able to go for long periods without water as much as several months in the dry season. The wild boar is also a close relative of the domestic pig and likes to live in forests. Their body is covered with a double coat of fur. The upper coat is made of harsh, bristly hair. The undercoat is much softer. Tusks on the bottom lip are one of the most prominent features of a wild boar. Males use their tusks for fighting during the mating season. Wild boars have a long rubbery snout that is used for digging underground roots and bulbs. The wild boar is an omnivore, feeding mainly on seeds, fruit, leaves, berries, eggs, mice, lizards, worms and snakes. Wild boars are nocturnal. They will sleep for about 12 hours during the day, hidden in a nest made of leaves. The ring-tailed lemur is only found in Madagascar. They are easy to recognize from their tail. They can climb quite well, but prefer to spend a third of their time on the forest floor foraging for food. They eat leaves, flowers, bark, sap and small invertebrates. When the lemurs are moving around looking for food, they keep their tails up in the air to ensure safety and to keep them in their group. Each ring-tailed lemur group has about 17 individuals. Lemurs mark their territory by scent. During mating season, male lemurs battle for dominance by trying to outstink each other. They cover their long tails with smelly secretions and wave them in the air to determine which animal is more powerful. I wouldn't like to be there at the time. Thank you for watching my video. Stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. Please remember to subscribe, like and share my video. Thank you. videos, click the picture.